Trigger warning, this episode has a discussion of sexual abuse. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi everyone, Cheryl back here with another episode of Video Diaries and Discussion. This is an email we received from an insider anonymously on their sexual abuse that they endured. So trigger warning, this is a discussion of, with sexual abuse inside it. When I was 10 years old, I was sexually abused by another member who was around 18 at the time. I was very young, didn't know anything, and certainly didn't know anything about what was legal or illegal and any police involvement. I'm, I am unable to tell you how long this lasted as I can't remember. However, I have permanent scars, burned, etched, and engraved into my mind and memory that will last forever. Vivid things and actions that will never leave my head. I want to be sick each time they pop back into my head. The actions of this person have affected me for the rest of my life. My perpetrator was shut up for a period of time after, however, still went to a private school. Once this person was recovered back into the assembly, life went on as normal. My perpetrator walks free to this day and has since gotten married. If this happened in the world, the perpetrator would be in jail, possibly for life. That is how serious the offenses were or moved to a sexual predator type jail. I believe this was never reported to the police. And if there was any legal side exposed here, the PBCC would have used money to keep this whole matter quiet. 